is Mary's Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a Minecraft kelp farm. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so for today, I've designed two designs, one is really tiny here, but nice if you want a slow but steady supply of kelp. It's really good if you want it to work in the background and you don't need much kelp. And this is the big boy. If you use kelp very often, I don't know what you would use kelp for, maybe as a... A source of fuel for furnaces but anyways this is the big boy this is the one you want if you want to have a lot of kelp uh, this design isn't scalable but this one is so you can expand it sideways here as much as you want I've made it 10 wide but you can make it I don't know 500 wide um, so this is the mini version it produces around six it produces around six kelp per hour uh, as i said not much but you can leave it in the base working in the background then it will slowly gather up a bit and here at the big boy we have 40 kelp per hour which is a bit more so let's start off with the mini build it's really not very uh, item intensive you need everything one except for glass so we started off building with placing the solar sand here a temporary block here with glass coming out of it from every side and at the back here an observer break the temporary block place a block of wool behind the observer here Place redstone dust on top and a piston facing into the soul sand over the observer. Here you tower up to three, here as well, and here you place a temporary block, place a chest here, break the temporary block, and place a hopper facing into the chest here, like so. Now place a glass block on top of the piston, one next to it, temporary block place glass here and here break the temporary block go over top like so that's almost everything done now you only need to get some water place it here place some kelp place some water here cover it up and you're done record time that's your kelp farm done okay second farm design this is a bit more resource intensive actually i don't know if it wouldn't be more cost efficient to build 10 mini farms than one big one but hey starting off here take our soul sand go over here until we stand so one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten like so take your glass place a temporary block here block here block here like so break the temporary block go all the way up to the side of the sandstone and finish it off with the edge now go two up on the sides here like so take two temporary blocks place them here take your chest place them on top of that here break the temporary blocks hopper facing in to the chest hopper facing into a hopper like so and boom stretch it out to the end like so beautiful take our glass again 
extend this here, temporary block place it here, stretch it out to the other side and place glass here as well. Now we have the front side done, it's time for the back, so we need to place a lot of observers. How I like to do this to get a lot of things done at once is place the water first, like so, then the kelp, like so. Now you can click on the kelp and simply place the observers like so. It will make a bit of a flood, but that's just temporary. Here, make a row of wool behind the observers one block lower. Here we place one tick pulse repeaters, like so. We take a row of wool facing out of the repeaters. On top of that row of wool, we have redstone, like so. Here, going back to the observers, we take the pistons and place them here. And now, target blocks behind the pistons, Oops. like so. Now, the only thing left is to take the, gl the glass, finish it up with this here, and place a temporary block here so it goes like this and now just fill it in as you can see water down here is full and we have water flowing into the hoppers of course with your leftover glass you cover this up so nothing escapes In both systems, there might be some problems with some kelp jamming in here. I've seen way less in this system. Uh, and that's not just because it's producing less, it's just less of the percentage of it produced gets stuck here. While well, this one is a bit more inefficient. That's why probably without the jammage, you would get a bit of a higher. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to make. And I hope these kelp farms will help you gather up kelp for whatever you could use it for. I really don't know why people want kelp. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs>